Hi everyone and welcome to our pixel art assignment. So in this assignment you're going to be creating your own pixel art and a pixel is on our screen usually like a computer screen or something like that. You have a square and it's full of color and that's how you see your images. So you're going to create your own uh, piece of pixel art. So here's a piece of pizza. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to count up the different colors and then we're going to convert uh, and see equivalent fractions, percent, and decibels, okay? But let's just first create our pixel art. So your pixel art must have at least four different colors, uh, but there's some different options uh, depending on what you prefer. So first, you could, for example, just use uh, some graph paper and some color pencils. Uh, you can just ask your teacher if you don't have those, but grab some graph paper and color pencils and just color in, that's one option. Or you could use um, an online pixel art uh, program, such as this one right over here, and it's linked in the slides presentation. Okay, so you can choose that one as well. Or you can do something more hands-on uh, if you if you like to you know, actually just use your hands and cut out stuff. Okay, so let me just show you uh, an idea of that. Okay, so uh, these are some pixel art drawings right over here. They're actually cut out with construction paper. Okay, so some other examples right here as well, okay? So choose one of those three options um, and then go with that, okay? I'm also just gonna show you um, some of the different settings uh, just so you can navigate through, okay? So if you choose to do um, the pixel art uh, program, uh, what I would recommend is that you go to file and then new, and then you can actually uh, adjust how big your drawing is, okay? So if you wanna make your pixel art drawing you know, a little bit larger or smaller, it's all up to you. So here I have 20 by 20. So if I have a 20 by 20 grid, 20 times 20 is 400. I don't know whether or not you want to do that much counting because it's a lot, okay? So let's just say I wanted instead 100, I'm sorry, 115 by 10. So 15 by 10 makes 150, maybe that's more manageable, okay? You can also do things like select a color palette, okay? But I find that the, the one that's the default is pretty good, okay? And then you can just start your new drawing, okay? Um, one of the tips that I have is when you click on tools, I recommend that you click on tools and then click on this grid toggle because then the edges of the, of the squares, the pixels, uh, will be still there even after you... Um, fill in the colors, okay? So when I don't have that, it's hard to count them, okay? So I would recommend that you put that on, okay? So just have some fun with it. It can be like a random pattern. It can be like abstract, an abst abstract drawing, or you could do, for example, you know, a picture of an apple, okay? Whatever you wanna do, okay? Once you finish that, we're gonna process your data, your process your picture, okay? Okay, so what you're gonna do is, once you've finished your picture, your pixel art picture, um, I want you to count the different colors, okay? So um, I've got uh, 74 black, 19 brown, 11 red, and 50 yellow, okay? So when I add this up, the total, it's not a very good number. So I'm actually just, just so that I can show you some examples of how to simplify fractions, I'm just going to pretend, okay? So you don't do this for yours, you actually count yours, but I'm just gonna say that there's 70, okay? So when I add these up, 70 plus 19 plus 11 plus 150, okay, when I add these all up and I get my total, I get 150, okay? Now I'm going to start processing my data, okay? So I'm going to get like my percent, my fractions, my decimals, and my percent, okay? So um, if you already know how to do this and you know how to show your work, please feel, to, feel free to fast forward to the end, okay? But if you want to see some examples of this, please stick around, okay? So fractions of total, I would do 70 to over 150, okay? 19 over 150, 11, okay? And then 50 over 150, okay? And then the total of the, okay, I could go like this, okay? Now I also want to just show how to reduce your fractions, okay? So whenever we're reducing our fractions, we are looking for the biggest number that we can divide both the top number, which is called the numerator, and then the bottom number, which is called the 
denominator. Okay, so the top number is the numerator, the bottom number is called the denominator in a fraction. Okay, so we're going to try to figure out what's the biggest number I can divide both of these by. Okay, so both of these numbers add in a, in a, uh, sorry, end in a zero, so I know that I can divide both numbers by 10. Okay, so divide by 10, divide by 10. Okay, whatever I divide the top number by, I have to divide the bottom number by as well. Okay, so my final fraction here. The most simplified fraction because I can no longer divide it by any more numbers. I got 7 over 15. Okay? 19 over 150, 19 is actually a prime number. It's only divisible by 1 and itself, 19. So I cannot uh, reduce that anymore. So that's already done. Okay? 11 is another prime number. So that's already finished. Okay? Uh, and then this one here, 50 over 150. Okay? So first of all, I might feel like, oh, I can divide both numbers by 10. Okay, so let's just say, I know that I can divide both of these by 50, but let's say I didn't see that, okay? How I would do, what I would do is divide by 10 and then divide by 10, okay? So I would have 5 over 15. And then from here, I would see, hey, I can actually divide further. I can divide the top, since the, both the top and the bottom number are divisible by 5, so it's very messy. Okay, but if I can divide both the top and the bottom number by 5, I'm going to end up with 1 over 3. Okay, so there's uh, maybe these are all equivalent fractions. They're all equal to one another. Okay, so let me just show you what that looks like, right? So in, in case you're not that familiar with equivalent fractions. So we've got this grid and it's split up into 150 pieces. Okay, so there's 150 in total here. And over here, I've got 50 colored in, okay? Notice that the area that's colored in, that's actually the same area as what's colored in here. Now what I have here is 15 pieces that are long, but in total, there's 15 pieces. And out of this, five of them are colored in, okay? So I'm trying to tell you that, hey, 50 over 150 is equivalent, it's equal to 5 over 15, and it's also equal to, now I have three pieces in total, and I've got one of them colored in, okay? All of these are equivalent fractions. The amount of area that's colored in is equal in all three cases, okay? Hope that makes sense. Okay, so uh, from here, I'm just going to finish off the rest of this case. So 150 over 150, that's equal to 1 over 1, okay? That's the fraction, I guess you could say, okay? So my final answers are 7 over 15, uh, these ones that are checked off, okay? The next part right over here is that we need to convert to a decimal, okay? So I can either use the original fraction or the simplified fraction that I have here, okay? So I'm just going to use 7 over 15. I would do 7 divided by 15. And when I put that into my calculator, I get 0 0.4666, okay, with a bunch of decimals. Okay, and let's round it to two decimal places. Okay, so I'm going to like look at my number over here. I've got 0 0.46. I look over to my next number. If this is 5 or above, I round up. But if it's 4 or below, it stays the same. Okay, so over here I've got 0 0.46666. Okay, so in the end, I'm going to end up with 0 0.47 because the 6 bumps up this 6 to a 7. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this one right over here. So it's 19 divided by 150. I get a value of 0 0.12666, okay? And I'm going to round it to 0 0.13. Uh, this one over here, you're going to do the same thing, okay? So I'm just going to uh, give you the final answers to save on time. These are the final rounded answers. If you need some practice, just make sure that you've got these all correct, okay? And then this one here would be 0 0.33. Okay, and this one would be 1.00. Okay, so 150 over 150 is equivalent to 1 in total. And then when we're doing percentages, we're just taking our decimal number and we're multiplying it by 100%. Okay, so this, uh, so really what we're doing, if I wanted to take a fraction and convert it to a percentage, just like, you know, calculating your test marks, you take your fraction, for example, 70 divided by 150, but then you times it by 100%, okay? 
and then we're going to round it to the nearest fraction, uh, the nearest whole number. So it's going to be 47%. Okay, and this one here would be 13%. This one here would be 7%. Okay, and then this would be 100%. Okay, so what we're trying to do right now here is make sure that we have all these numbers filled out. Okay, okay, I hope you have some fun with this one. I'll see you on the next assignment.